Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. This is a bonus video for our geometric stamp series and this is particularly for anyone who hasn't got any geometric shape stamps in their stash. And what I'm going to show you now is a really simple way of creating your own geometric shape stamps. So I've got my die cutting plates here. I've got some craft foam. This particular foam is about two millimetres, two or three millimetres thick, but use what you have. So all I'm going to do is take my fun foam, put it on my die cutting plate, add my simple geometric die shapes on top, put a bit of card on top of that to protect this area of foam, then add the plate and run it through my die cutting machine. And we should have some shapes cut out of fun foam. You can even buy pre-cut fun foam shapes. Look in the kids section of your local craft store. As well as die cutting out your shapes, you can also just cut them with scissors. So I'm going to cut, I think, a triangle. It's going to be an irregular triangle, but a triangle nonetheless. And obviously with this technique, you're not restricted to geometric shapes. You can cut out whatever shapes you like, leaves, butterflies, flowers, etc, etc. And all I'm going to do is pop a bit of stick glue on an acrylic block. And I've got a bit of smooth white cardstock here and pine needles, distress oxide. And I'm going to give that fun foam, craft foam stamp a good inking. And very carefully press it down and give it a few seconds to transfer. And there you have a circle. You can make a whole piece of pattern paper this way. So there we have a piece of pattern paper with some big, slightly irregular circles on with a slightly distressed look and I really like that. I'm going to keep that for later use. As well as acrylic blocks, you can also use stamping platforms with your homemade stamps. And I'm just going to pop some stick glue on there, pick up my stamp with it and do a bit of repeat stamping. Now I'm going to try this Catherine Pula ink. This is Fiesta Boo, Boo, Fiesta Blue from the Party Collection. I've got a bit of a divot in this stamp, so that will print, but that's okay for this demonstration. It doesn't have to be perfect. So there we have a nice square. It's a little bit irregular, but that's fine. And I'm going to pull this down three centimetres. And ink up my stamp again and pull it down another three centimeters there we go and we could do a fourth one Then we have some nice rows. We could make that into a column of presents, perhaps, or a row of presents. You could work that little white divot into uh, the design, like a little highlight, or you could cover it up with a bow or something. So there we go. Now you can clean these off with a baby wipe or a bit of water, or you could even just plop them in a bit of warm soapy water in the kitchen and keep them with your stamps or you keep them with your dies so that you've always got them there. and to get the stick glue off your blocks you again it's just water you could put it in the sink and soak it in some warm soapy water and take it off the back of your stamp as well so as i've cut it i'm going to build up a pattern with my hexagons I'm going to pull that down three and a half, I think. In tomorrow's video, I believe it is, 
we are going to be using the hexagon stamps from the stamp set. So this might be useful if you've got hexagon dies and some craft foam, you could cut yourself some hexagonal stamps if you haven't got any. So there we have a row of hexagons. Let's give that a quick clean so I don't transfer any of the ink to my card where I don't want it. So what colour was that? That was Catherine Pula Tiara. Pop that back up the top there. Get my hexagon and kind of slot it in like that. A bit more glue over here. Pick that up and now I'm going to use Bellini. So I could keep going with that, cover the whole paper or just part of the paper. We've got hexagons, squares and circles. Later in the series, we'll be looking at triangles. We'll actually be making bunting, spoiler alert, using triangle stamps. So you could cut yourself some triangular fun foam bunting shaped stamps. Before I go, I've just had a quick thought. If you want to add texture to your craft foam stamps, then run them through your die cutting machine with an embossing folder. So I use this cross stitch embossing folder and I've got a cross stitch pattern on my stamp. So I'll add that to my acrylic block. Now I'm sure this will not give a perfect impression, but it will give you a bit of texture. So you can create patterned geometric shapes this way. So they do have a bit of a, a grungy look. So the impression you get will depend on how much ink you add, what ink you add, how thick your fun foam is. If it's a bit thicker than this, you might get crisper impressions. And also how hard and how long you press it down for. But if you want a bit of pattern, probably be a bit distressed rather than a, a crisp, clean pattern, then, as I say, run your die cut foam shapes through your die cutting machine with an embossing holder. And you might, let's just try one ghost impression, whoops, or second generation impression. So we'll pop that there, no, we'll do it there so we get the whole thing covered. So that's the first generation and now a second generation impression. So it's a lot lighter. We can probably even get a third generation. I'm pressing quite hard. You just keep going until you've uh, exhausted your ink. Right, there you go. Some patterned geometric stamps made with craft foam. I think that'll do. I hope you found this little bonus video helpful and that it's given you another tool that you can use fun foam and dies or scissors to create simple basic shape stamps. Right, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the series. Bye for now.